Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are finally going to be taking a look at a knife that I actually wanted to bring to you guys last week. But I had a little problem as I was carrying this knife. See, I did the unboxing of it, and I really didn't think it was a great knife. Um, but when I got it in the pocket, and I've handled this knife before. I've handled other versions of this knife, and I really like it. It really is one of my more favorite knives. But this version... Um, is not the most practical version. It's one of the least practical versions, but I'm really falling in love with it. I started to fall for it so hard. I didn't, I wanted to make sure I was keeping myself in check and not just giving you guys some, some crazy overblown review of something more than what it is. So I sat it down for a few days, went back to some other knives and I'm back here. I've carried this for a couple more days and guys, I, gosh darn it. I just think and love it. It's hard for me to uh, to change my opinion of this. And what we have here is the Kaiser Sheepdog XL in titanium. Yeah, this, this thing has really, really, really impressed me in a few ways. We're going to go over all that. But first, let's take a look at some overall specs on this monster of a knife right here. We have an overall length of 9.29 inches, a blade length coming in at 3.94 inches, and a blade thickness of 130 thousandths. We have a blade width of 1.75 inches. This is, this is one slab of steel here, and the steel we are looking at is S35VN with that amazing, phenomenal sheep foot blade designed for, by Sheepdog Knives. Uh, we have a very nice, very high, very, very slicey flat grind, a handle length coming in at 5.96 inches, a handle thickness at 484 thousandths, uh, which is not nearly as thick as you would think. This thing is incredible in the hand. Uh, we have titanium as a part of the, the one of the big catches with this version right here is it's all titanium. Uh, a frame lock, a user of a right hand only tip up carry, a weight, it, it was probably to be expected, a bit heavier, 8.43 ounces, as I said before, designed by Sheepdog Knives, and a price of $189, but wait, you can get this guy on Mojave Outdoors, it's going to be linked below to Mojave Outdoors Amazon store, where if you use the code Wayne's World, you will save 10% and you will pay a whopping $170. When I say whopping, I mean very affordable. $170 for this guy. And I gotta say $170 for a knife this big of titanium and S35. Yes, just yes. Yes, all day. Now, let's take a look at some size comparisons. Now, before we hop into a lot of the knives that you're probably expecting to see, let's pull out a couple of my other favorite big knives that have really stuck around in my collection that I really do enjoy. Uh, this here is the Cold Steel AD10, and uh, you probably know what's coming next. The bigger Cold Steel, the tank, the one that bit me, the Cold Steel 4MAX Scout in all of its massive heavy glory. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it actually lines up relatively well with both of these knives. It's almost the exact same length as the AD10 and just a little shorter than the 4MAX Scout. So yeah, big stinking knife right here. Uh, let's uh, carefully put the 4MAX Scout back on the table. And uh, let's take a look at some other knives that will be some good comparisons here. Um, let's go straight back into the Sheepdog line of things. Here we have the regular, regular, or the original, the mid-size uh, Sheepdog in Micarta, which, man, oh man, is still, I, I get so torn when I talk, and here's the mini button lock, which you already know how much I love this fidgety little beast, amazing, uh, but yeah, so we got the mini, we got the full size, there you go, this is the family, XL, regular, mini, I love this design, guys. This, in my opinion, this is one of the more iconic designs in the knife world at this point. It's just fantastic. Um, any version, if you want a smaller one, you got it. The midsize is great for about anybody. And this big version here, this XL version, man, oh man. Uh, I actually have one more to compare it to. And uh, it's actually another XL, but this is the budget version XL. This is the Kaiser Vanguard lineup. This is 154 CM steel. And as you can see, you don't have that option for a flipper tab, which some people may hate that. Some people may like that. Uh, I'll let you decide that. Let me know. Do you like this flipper tab here? Because it doesn't have to be there if you don't want it. We'll go over that in a second too, because it's one excellent design the way they did that. 
But as you can see, uh, the big difference between these two outside of the flipper is the thickness. And we have a very, very, very considerable thickness. Pardon all my varies. We're only like halfway into this video and I've said very about 30 times. Don't make a drinking game with this video for very. You, 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 well, it's Friday, so go ahead. It's Friday, have at it. But as you can see, massive difference in the thickness of the handle. Not a bad thing. I don't think this is too thick. I think it feels really good, but I also think this feels a little bit better. I, I really do. Uh, personal preference here, uh, but let's get into it. And oh, did you see that thing whip out? Let's talk about this blade here. We are looking at a behind the edge reading of 16 and a half thousandths. So that is one slicey beast. We have that tall blade of 1.75 inches, which means this area right here is, you're probably looking at about one and a quarter inches right here of a very high flat grind. This guy is a slicer of slicers, and it is just an excellent, it's still, it's the sheepdog blade, guys. Nice, nice tip that is aggressive, slicey, everything you want it to be. Whole lot of cutting edge, excellent aesthetics. I just love the, the overall lines of this blade. Uh, the little swedge up there is great. The, the blade cutout is absolutely perfecto. Uh, really good jimping here on the spine. And then you get to this flipper tab, which as you can see, it's removable. Um, and we're going to look talk more about that when we get to the action because I want to do uh, give you guys my thoughts of the action with and without it. We'll show you how easy it is to take it out. And uh, let's move on to the handle for now, though, because this handle is it, it, it really does make this version what it is and which what I think it is, is one of the best big knives I will ever have in my collection. And this isn't going anywhere. This one's staying around quite possibly forever because I love it. I love the thinness of it, the 484 thousands compared combined with the width of this handle is just perfect for me. The ergos on this guy are absolutely fantastic. Um, it's excellent contouring. You do have some contouring going on here and it's excellent chamfering along all the edges. Uh, it's just so comfy, so smooth, no hot spots. One of the best pocket clips on a knife ever. It's nice and wide and low profile. It, it's almost like it's not there. It is a dream of a pocket clip. And I gotta say, the more I talk about this, it's it's just so good. Um, $189 down to $170 if you use the link in the code Wayne's World. You're getting a whole hell of a lot of knife for $170 quality materials, excellent, excellent fit and finish, and it's just a winner. And, and really just about every, the only the only people that I would say you don't want this is if you don't like big knives. If you if you have big hands and you like big knives, or if you just like big knives, this, this is one of the best that have come out in years, in my opinion. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm starting, I feel like I'm just ranting and raving about it, but I really mean it. I put it down for a few days. I wasn't sure about it because I thought, I, I was worried I was getting caught up in the moment. So I put it back in the pocket and carried it for a few more days after that break. And it's just that good. And the action is another thing that makes it amazing because this is a huge blade. This is a huge stinking blade. And the detent is perfect. You can light switch it and it comes out really good, but you can push button it. You can push button this big blade and it rockets out. It is fantastic. Um, it, it It's so fidgety in the sounds. Listen to this. That good tink. The tink at the end. And really what you should do, let's, let me do something here. I'm gonna tighten this up a little uh, with my Mega Pro Precision Driver. If you guys are looking for a good, affordable, kind of a budget-based driver for your knives and any type of small electronics, this is it. I'm looking for my T8. Here we go. And what I really like about this knife, and one thing I do have to do, so when you get the knife, um, they don't put any Loctite in the pivot. So this, with the, the weight and just the build of this knife, the pivot will loosen up if you don't use some uh, some type of like uh, locked blue Loctite. I have mine upstairs where I'd show it to you. I'll have it linked below what I use, but listen to this. Oh, it's just, it, it, it's a great tink and excellent action. It, it's, 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 it's the perfect combination of sound, of action, of detent, 
It's great. Now, you see, I'm flipping it. Yeah, it's got great flipping action, but you take off this flipper tab here. Look at that. That right there is a very good idea from someone at Kaiser, and they deserve an award for this because I love being able to take this flipper tab off without having to mess with taking the knife apart. It's, it's, it's excellent. Who would have thought it? Someone at Kaiser. Um, and that is, oh, that's a T6. So let's pop this T8 back in the uh, retractable cartridge of the precision driver. And you guys, just so you know, I'm gonna link this below too, because if you haven't gotten one of these precision drivers, you should, you really need to, because it comes with a lifetime warranty. It comes with a lifetime bit replacement warranty. If you lose a bit, if you just drop a bit, if it falls in a sewer or it falls in your couch or it falls somewhere into the depths of hell and you cannot find it, you just get, get a hold of Mega Pro and they replace the bit for you. Obviously, they do track it. So, so if you call them like 10 times trying to get the same bit replaced, there may be a problem there. But you lose a bit once or twice, it's going to get replaced for you for free. For free, it's fantastic, and a lifetime warranty. And if you buy from the link, you're gonna be supporting a small local business in Texas. So there you go, there's that. That's a pretty darn good deal if you ask me. Um, there's the T6, we got it uh, loosened here. Let's pop this out and... Oh, there's just like one thread left. There, that's gotta be good enough. Okay, there we go, and pop it out. Oh, it's getting caught on the bottom there, there we go. Okay, so that's that. Flipper tab and screw, we will put that over here, and then, and you can middle finger flick this with the flipper tab on. I just wanted to take it off to show you guys, one, how good it looks when it's off. Look at that side, super clean. And then you just see just a real small little notch there. Kaiser did a really good job of hiding that though. And yeah, yep. Ooh, so, so effing good. I love this knife. I do. I, I, I really want to put it in my knife of the year running, but it's just not technically... It's not technically a new model for this year. I'd like to keep my Knife of the Year awards to new models. This is technically a new version. You guys let me know. Should I put this in the running for a Knife of the Year award in its price category of $150 to $250? If, you, if enough of you say yes, I will, because I really do stink and love this knife. And that elevates the ergos. Then you can choke up on the handle. It's amazing, guys. It really is. I'm done gloating about it, but I'm telling you, this is one of the best big premium knives that will be available for arguably all of this year. Did you hear that? Did you stink and hear that? Oh, so good. Okay, gonna put it down. Obviously, you guys know my overall thoughts. This knife is freaking amazing. So get it while you can. It's linked below. Let me know your thoughts. If you already had one, let me know. What do you think of the Sheepdog series in general? It's amazing. That's it, guys. It's done. It's Friday. I'm calling this one. I'm gonna go have a drink. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed this review. And until the next one, I'm out.